Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man run with the army of two. Uh, there are only two uh, um, XCOM soldiers in every single run and we're playing on the highest difficulty. So is that going to work out? I don't know, but uh, we will find out. Last thing that happened is we have been ambushed in one of our covered missions and now it's time to begin the rescue. Losts are surrounding us and we indeed need to play with Zirkim and Renvan to get out of uh, this very very unfortunate situation. Let's take a good look and see if we can pull it off. The beginning of the mission will be the crooks of the entire uh, of the entire uh, fight. If we can pull it off, the rest should be easy, easy. We're ten missions in, or eleven, I think even, and we're still alive. That's way better than I would have thought. Plus, we soon have uh, the magnetic uh, weapon upgrades, even for the bigger weapons. Uh, so, <laughs> it's going to be such a beautiful experience. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Okay. So, we started here. Uh, this here is uh, where I'm usually taking the fights. And uh, today will not be an exception for this. Zirkim is moving over. Renvin does so as well. And there is the drop zone. Normally two to three enemies are being dropped, so this is very much the di difficult uh, part um, right now. Putting ourselves in position, we definitely want the additional uh, the additional ambush. So we got... do we have death from above? Oh my gosh, we do have death from above. Holy shit. And death from above. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah, I think that we will use that. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure we will use that. Not I'm thi I think I am sure we're going to use that. Overwatch, Overwatch. Let's see what they are dropping. Usually it's a captain and two... Um, normal troopers. It is a captain and two normal troopers. So let's take a good look and see what the Overwatch will offer. Captain is going to move first, so the captain is drawing the fire. Nice. Captain just died in an instant. All right, moving up. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Nice, death from above. Allows us to take another shot. Might as well take it. And death from above allows us to take theoretically yet another shot. That was way easier um, than our uh, then our fights on ballistic weapons only double enemy hit points because normally you uh, I didn't have the chance to to kill the enemies right away and that made it incredibly more difficult with actually using overwatch shots to kill the enemies well, it's much easier A swarm of lost appears. Confirmed. Confirmed. On the move. 
Okay, they are still very, very far away. Might as well do an overwatch and let them come closer. There we go, one down. Okay, uh, we are still trying to level Zirkim, which now is the perfect time to do so. Want to give him kills, lots and lots and lots of kills. With headshot, uh, every as long as he hits, he's going to kill them. Reloading, continuing to take shots. And let's reload again. I'm not going to camp it out, uh, although I must admit it is a temptation to wait a little bit longer. Because every single loss counts for a kill, and boy oh boy they die fast. Okay, no problem to stay in the open. Uh, there is one enemy, but he's further down. It's never that far off. I wanted to stay uh, so close because it gives me enough time to just about uh, get up here. Putting ourselves in the best possible position. And now waiting for the loss. Easy. And look at you. Great. So there's uh, the trooper. Alright, Zirkim clears house. There is no one who withstands the wrath of him. Probably should give him some sort of an extended magazine just for the future. Moving into full cover. So, let's use demolition to get rid of his cover. Ninety percent uh, hit, and we're going to take the one hundred percent hit because we know that he's going to be alone, and that's an easy kill. The next one is at the crossroads, so it's still quite a bit away. Yeah, that this here is essentially easier than the four-man um, ballistic weapon only version, mainly due to the uh, lower amount of hit points because we can alpha strike and just kill the enemy. We didn't have that. Oh, I didn't have that option back in the other run. Doesn't mean it's easy overall. It just means it's easier. 
And our goal is really to not take any losses whatsoever. That also means let's try to not get hit. Alright, one down. Reload, Overwatch. Couple of shotgun shots. The car is going to explode and that means a swarm is going to draw closer, even better. Unfortunately, our loot expired. Check it before you get too close. Weapons empty. Can't engage. There we go. I want to take this high ground next. Understood. Moving out. Scanning. There's one more advent. And I think... Oh, uh... Almost. Well, let's get here first. Let's take the safe route. Okay, I'll go. Come get some. Moving to Overwatch. Nice little Overwatch trap here. There is still a swarm of loss. Yeah, that's just a couple of uh, initial shots. They will get closer eventually. Alright, Zirkim keeps cleaning house. Time for some high ground very soon. And soon another swarm should come. So far, it's a comparably easy mission. Not going to complain. It's good. I like it. Let's wait for the swarm and then move on. Enemy down. 
Yeah, the swarm kind of uh, still makes up its mind where it wants to go. Ah, uh, finally. Zirkim continues to clean house. There we go. Alright, let's move up. There we go, that was the last advent. Let's go for one more round of loss. Already there. Alright, last round. Let's see how many losses we can still kill. Enemy destroyed. I got it, right? What's over there? Yeah, one way of doing this run in a bit more easy would be to now simply camp here and wait for wave after wave after wave to uh, crush in. And then basically level up. Because even if they would have leveled up, they could uh, still get another level up. And just here as a demonstration. And also as a shameless option to at least get one more wave. You basically just need to wait. So if you want to, uh, to see how it works. So we would basically just need to wait. Overwatch, Overwatch. There you go. Swarm is uh, very close. Swarm appears. And they would always, always, they can't appear right next to you, but there are a couple of spawn points, one being inside of the house, um, where they basically would continue to spawn. I think they improve in numbers, even a bit, and a bit in health, but that doesn't matter for us, because we do have between the eyes, so they could have as much health as they would want. And we would still be able to kill them. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, it's relatively easy to get rid of them. Yeah, we could even block the entrance to the ladder so that they couldn't really walk up. And as far as I'm concerned, they would will continue to spawn. It's just the matter. Uh, it's just the way that the mission is programmed. And I still had grenades to um, stimulate the spawn even even uh, if they would slow down. Yeah, 
And plus, the way that experience works in the game, for those who are unaware, it doesn't matter which enemy you are killing. Originally, they wanted to, um, uh, to implement a quote-unquote experience system, where each enemy has uh, certain XP values implemented. You can even find that in the INI files, but they never did it. And at the, the, mo at the current way that it had been released and ever since, um, you now have certain thresholds, just number of kills and number of assists. So depending on the class, you get a certain fraction of a kill. Um, grenadiers get uh, one kill for every four assists and uh, every and no grenadiers get one for every five. Every other class gets one for every four. And um, specialists get uh, one kill for every three assists. And assist means a uh, person uh, was in the mission whilst the kill happened. Um, so yeah, uh, at the end of the day, it's a simple, for a simple formula. Once you reach, I think, 140 or 150, uh, you get promoted to the highest rank. Um, and yeah, the 150 clearly means kills plus uh, the number of assists, of course. So let's go. We have not received a promotion there. We saw a reduction in Avatar. That's great. That's great. Our action together is complete. We got a promotion from the actual uh, from the actual uh, covered ops uh, mission. So we now have another captain which is superb. I really like it. And since it's a new month, we also get a lot of new options. First and foremost, can we reduce the avatar training time? Form soldier bond, resist order, recruit scientists, manufacture upgrades, receive loot. Unfortunately, we can't. And that's bad news. I was hoping that we could stall it out a bit longer. Here's a promotion. Oh, nice. Here's a promotion. Mm, nice. The alien loot is okay. Promotion is really good. Another promotion and uh, soldiers XP gain increased by 20%. Oh yeah, uh, well, we're going to do this one here because deeper learning too is an excellent order. An excellent order. Plus a promotion. That's good. Recruit scientists definitely is an option as well. Can't do it all though. And here we go. Uh, that's ooh, that's a tough call because resistance rising plus one contract, that's exactly what we would need at the moment. But I think we're going to go with the promotion. Before we do that though, let's take a look. This here is Ranvin, promote the soldier. Nice little run and gun ability. Love it. And for now, Ranvin uh, takes, instead of the scatter gun, actually the magnetic rifle, um, because that is an already upgraded weapon. I don't blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. And there's potential weapon upgrades. Um, hmm, difficult. Do we actually want to upgrade um, too many of uh, the normal rifles? Well, we will have one for Roby. That's for sure. So might as well use the autoloader is one reload. Mm. Clip size is four. That's okay. Repeater is okay as well. I guess with death from above, it makes sense to have an autoloader. So in which case we could use advanced laser sight and the autoloader. Good enough, I suppose, good enough. We got the captain and the lieutenant. Both of them are doing all of our covered ops missions. So it's good and we will continue with it.
We will give Zirkum another promotion. Putting Renman with him on this mission. There is no chance that they can be ambushed again. So might as well not give him the upgraded weapon. Should have thought about that a bit in advance. So great weapon upgrade. Good job, Saiken. Well done. Back to his shotgun because they are not going to be ambushed, at least not in uh, this mission. So, promotion for Zirkim and Renman uh, helps him. It's at least a promotion. Uh, we can't reduce the avatar progress. It's a bummer. Low engineers, power capacity, low intel. Yeah, great. Thanks. Game is telling us we're not doing super well. Uh, I was aware about that, um, even without the game letting me know. Do we need supplies? Partially. Let's get our Templar back. So we're continuing to let him heal. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. And look at that. We're looking at Dr. Axel Schultz, scientist, which would bring our scientist count up to four. Nice little 91 Intel. Well, that's such a sweet mission. If we fail, though, we're going to lose South Africa, which would be this very, very negative for us. It was our starting country, though. I'm not even sure if we can actually lose the starting country. Never happened to me. Um, but yeah, it's going to happen on the next mission, guys. I'm looking forward for it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, um, consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, maybe leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so as well and uh, see you very much in the next mission. Take care.